Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of SevTech, and I did some things off screen, not much. I've mostly been trying to get ready to make the machine press, right? I got the thing ready. Oops, it's not saved there anymore. Uh, simple machines? No. Save it machines. I don't know why I didn't save it when I closed. But it's uh, got a parts list, and I saved it to this so I can build it. Um, I've been cooking some spore seed things, these sinuous or sinuous resin. They come from sinuous weeds, which grow near lava in the nether, right? I got some growing here now. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work. I converted it to a regular tripwire hook instead of a chime because I got sick of the rain having it be on for like a full day. And I have enough sugar cane that I probably never need any again. Um, unfortunately, it makes these, the sinuous fibers, which are basically a nice replacement for the fiber for plants. So I don't have to go bust up leaves and all that all the time. You know, for making string and torches and all that normal stuff. These uh, sinuous spores, though, are what I need. You have to cook them to make the sinuous resin. And the resin basically replaces plastic and slime balls but mostly plastic for conveyor belts, right? It has to be resin or uh, rubber of some kind. Oops. Yeah, plastic or, or rubber of some kind. Unfortunately, I have no means to get plastic that I can figure. Uh, it takes a plastic molder, which is a machine. I guess I might be able to make eventually. Um, I don't know. Yeah, uh, we really have no idea how to do that yet. Um, so this was my option. Unfortunately, I planted a bunch of those upstairs next to my lava lake just to test it. I even had the chunk loader there and went AFK for like 15 minutes. They grow really slow, by the way. In 15 minutes, only like three of the eight stalks I planted uh, had grown to full three height. Most of the others haven't. Oh, and as you know, I might be walking faster. Um, I modded out some of my armor. Um, this one I gave. Wait, what's the matter? Oh wow, it undid it. I must have crashed the game or something because I seem to have lost some progress. I'd put redstone on my armor, uh, my leggings, and my chest to make it fast, the walk speed. But uh, it's gone now. Anyways, I'd planted a bunch of it here and it grew up. But all I got was fiber. If I broke the stock with an axe at the base level, it would destroy it and give me a spore back, maybe. Um, I had five here, I broke it and I only got four back. Um, I've never gotten more than one spore that I've noticed unless it fell in the lava and I don't always get a spore it seems so I don't know how you're supposed to get more spores. I'm, I have that little uh, setup going by over here with the pistons to see if breaking the top two blocks will give a spore once in a while. I'm gonna go check my armor real quick. Maybe I just can't read it on there because it's too long. But I had put Okay, yeah, there's a bonus speed. Just didn't seem to show before. Okay. Yeah, I got 15% on this and then 15% on the leggings. Oh, only 5. Oh, 5% five because I didn't have enough modifiers in the leggings. Because they also have, I think, heat resistance. Yeah. Control. Yeah, it's just there's more traits than show up. Okay, good. But yeah, it's like it makes me walk faster. It's not so fast that I can't control it, but it's nice for most of the places. But anyways, I did cook up some for, um, that stuff is pretty rare in the nether. It seems to be mostly the other plant. Uh, what is it? Not that. Oh, I finally figured out this, by the way, guys. Um, you know that sometimes when I type things out, it grays out everything. I find if you double click on it, it switches between filtering and not filtering. So now if I do this, yeah, 
this is the one you get the most of and far as I can tell it's pretty useless um it just does dirt and you can eat it for a very very little thing ah, but whatever that's it but yeah so if you double click on this it'll go back to not doing it after all this what hundred and some episodes I finally figured that out but yeah, so this resin is what I need. I don't know if I'm going to have a good supply of it. At least, whatever. Even if I went to the nether, there's not very much of it. Because it only grows on the, near the lava lakes. And it seems to be mostly the other weed. But now we can make the conveyor belt. Which I need. Uh, yeah, there we go. So I guess eight of them at least. And then... We got the conveyor belt. I didn't know there was an advancement. Where was that? Hmm. Not sure. Wow. Not sure where that was an advancement. Unless it was an advancement in stage two. Maybe. I don't know. Weird stuff. But anyway, so we got the conveyor belt. In terms of this, we also need two steel scaffolding, a red engineering block, a piston, and two conveyor belts. I thought we only need one, and a heavy engineering block. Oh, it checks off what you already have. Okay, that's neat. Um, I have some blocks and still scaffolding still. Uh, I just need to make the heavy machine scaffolding. And I think that's it. Oops. A piston. Uh, I should have pistons, yes. It will take two, just in case. I like how it checks it off for you. Okay, and then a heavy engineering block. Oops. We're making it progress. Heavy engineering block. I tried to make sure I had the stuff for this. Oh, this takes two pistons. Okay. Um, Luckily, I took two. So... Electromagnet steel mechanical component. I'm gonna say. Do I have steel on me? No, but I got it there. I'm gonna guess that the components are easier to make in the engineering table. But I know I have the electromagnet. I was pouring it out earlier, right? Yeah. One of these. And was it a steel plate? Ah, no. This takes steel plates. Yeah, I realized that these were taking a lot, so I started pouring out more of them. Okay. Oops, I passed it. Yeah, I really got to come up with an organization. So I tried to debate if I want to dig down and make a big base or not. Although I did dig down over here, and I noticed it led into my coal mine, which... Oops, I'd veined mine out a lot of, as you can see. Aslanus is getting sulfur, not the sulfur that you get from between lands, but sulfur for immersive engineering out of coal sometimes. But uh, I did not realize I couldn't get up there easily again. There we go. But yeah, I was starting to dig down. Oops, huh. There we go. Dig down to make a bottom of my base, I figured, and I ran into that. Steel part, yeah. Copper ingot. Do I not have copper on me? Of course not. Why would I? But, is there something here? Of course not. How about here? Is 
the green one? No. Remember, right? It's white. No, it's tin. Iron, bronze, iron, wood. What am I doing? I have this that I figured out how it works now. Yay, I got copper ingots. Okay, we'll take a bunch. Now yeah, they're brown while the blocks are green. Make five. Oh, we can shift click those. That's nice. Um, is that all I need for the heavy thing? Heavy block. Two of these electrum, iron, or steel, and two more pistons because I used mine up, I think. But we're gonna make this. What did I just pick? A fish? Really? Oh, yeah, I have pistons in there, so it'll pull from it. Okay. So we got two heavy blocks. We got everything. Now, for temporarily at least, I decided to put it down here. I don't have a power source just yet. We're going to turn that off. Okay, so the projector. Now, you, if you look at it, it'll tell you. Middle click to rotate, R shift, and middle click to mirror, and then right click puts it down. Um, and then right click, shift right click puts it back up. Now, I don't necessarily have a plan of how it should work yet. Okay, it rose that way, so I want it to go. Yeah, that way. Oops, there we go. So, now I need to get the blocks into my hot bar, obviously. Scaffolding and a piston. Now, it does, that's cool. If you have a block in your hand, it does tell you which one's the right one. But that doesn't work yet, so. And this tells you that yes, that one goes there, and there, and then a piston. Then I need to take my, oh, I need to put the conveyor belts down. Of course I do. Oops. I hope it doesn't matter what direction it's facing. I wonder how that one. Huh. The little arrow is nice now. Now, engineering hammer. Did I leave that somewhere? Oh, here it is. You're supposed to, according to the instruction manual here, click on the piston. There we go. Hmm. What? Oh, okay, that block, okay. I was wondering what the little message was coming up for. It was like I thought I was done. Oops. There we go. What? Oh, it's gotta be down. There we go. Okay, yeah, it is picky about which direction everything faces. Okay, so it's running on its own. Let's um nothing to interact with. Let's go uh use our blueprints that we've made. Make some metal press stuff. And see how this works. If it works, I don't know if it needs redstone singles or something. It seems to be rolling on its own. Blueprints. So. 
plates, bullet casing, wire. I think we're going to do wire first. And then maybe rod because we have no way to make wire normally. Um, other than the little snippet scissors one piece at a time. And then we get two pieces if we use the press. But uh, the wire cutter should be in here. Yeah. And then steel plates. The one. <clears throat> I think we have more over here. Do we have any copper plates? No. We used them all. Oh, but we can't use copper ingots in that thing that there yeah I guess I don't know I have rod flesh it's just one of those I shoved it in a container because I had a bunch okay oh yeah the steel plates from over here which hopefully we won't have to deal with too much anymore wow my inventory is absolutely filled with junk I'm going to put my one copper plate apparently in there because I don't want to put things that don't belong in there okay there's that everything's five plates and a wire cutter huh? now hopefully these things don't deteriorate okay wire there we go. We'll try that for now. Hey, it, uh, why is there a red hexagon? Oh, this projector's still on. There we go. Get rid of that. Like, why was the red hexagonal thing going through the walls? But yes, the projector. Okay, so we got a plate. We can figure out how to use it. Okay, it's on and now we just need to feed in some copper we just toss it no no we don't it does not okay Um, maybe a redstone lever. Oh, I know a hopper, maybe. Um, oops, a little bit of lag. A lever I always take out of here and then I always return because it doesn't do what I want it to do. Um, where's like a hopper? Probably an item transfer pipe would actually be good too, but whatever. So, does not seem to be doing anything. Okay, yeah, it does. I push one now. I finally got that back. So, it needs 1600 RF or IF. Uh, but let's put the hopper down for the heck of it. See if it works. Oops, not want that there exactly. But let's try some. That little arrow thing is new. I don't remember that being there before. Oh, it's because the conveyor belt selected. Okay. Well, let's uh, pull out the engineering book and see if it helps. I doubt it, though, in my experience. Okay. Shown above to form the multi-block. Click the right question to mention engineer. Okay. Power input is through the top and items through the conveyors. Obviously in the direction of movement. The lower mirror block is the redstone control port. Right-clicking it with an engineer hammer allows you to invert the redstone control. Okay. To actually work, the metal press requires a mold to be attached. Yes. These 
molds or engineering work breath to use blue furnace displayed, yes. Okay. A craft mission with the wire cutter taking some damage every time you crafting operation. So the wire cutters take damage, hopefully not the thing. Yes. Okay, they can make multi stack blocks and stuff. I'm guessing I need IF, but I'm IF Gen. Now that's um what's name of this mod immersive engineering. At immerse. How am I spelling it wrong? I M M E R. Oh, I. Duh. Only four pages. We'll look through it. Okay, the fluid router. I think we either need the windmill or something. I guess that's our only options. We don't have a diesel generator or anything like that until we have oil. And here I thought building this would solve a lot of our issues. Um, Thermocolytic generator? That's pretty easy, other than the coil block. Uh, I'm not sure Wait, what it runs on lava, maybe? I don't want to do that because I have sort of a limited source of lava. I mean, I can put netherrack into the thing, but it makes tiny little bits at a time. So I guess all these wires, too, we're going to need. Low voltage. Copper and terracotta, oh wow. We should have some terracotta unless I ground it all up from the smelting down mud or whatever. Wow. Well, let's see what else we can get done because I'm going to have to do some work to get all that together for a generator. Um, and I'm hoping this does something. It still isn't. Well, none of them are grown, so not like it's not doing anything. I mean, I've seen them grow before. I just really don't know if they even drop spores. Because when I, I even tried using my Luck 3 pickaxe on them, even though it was the wrong tool, and it still didn't seem to drop spores. I tried the shears and everything. But yeah, let's look. See here, guys. Wow. Actually, let's just make the kinetic dynamo. See if we can make that. We'll have to make the rest of the stuff later, possibly. We've actually progressed pretty far as we can without actually getting freaking power of some kind. Um, kinetic dynamo. So yeah, the, this was what I wanted the thing for because takes four copper wires I can make a shaft or a cheated stick or a stick okay the four copper wires I mean that's that's a lot of copper plates and it takes four of those so it's like 16 uh, one copper plate and then yeah my scissors Okay, so we're in trouble here, guys. Um, this is my platinum. It's my iron with nickel backing it up. Do I have copper in here? I don't think so because it automatically turns itself into bronze and everything else. Oh, I do have some copper. Okay. Thank God that I don't have enough... <coughs> or whatever it is to make all bronze so 16 of these wow unfortunately I can't really speed this up because I can't automate it 
That's why I was going to make the drain thing to keep all the stuff separate. Because I can't automate it to auto pour unless I want everything in there to be made into plates or something, you know? I can't have it just pour one metal. Like, once this runs out, it'll automatically switch to the next metal up. Unless I just don't store anything in there extra, you know? That's what, six? Luckily they, oh, 12, okay. Luckily they cool pretty fast. What is it, uh, gears that seem to take forever? I have all these potions obviously from when I was raiding. Um, most of them are pretty useless, but I just can't find a reason to use most of them. I mean, maybe next time I find a big boss, I'll use a potion of healing or something, but I don't know. Okay, we got 16. Or well, 17 if you got the ones in my inventory. So, we'll do this. Where's my scissors? The cutters? Uh, at least the durability didn't take too much of a hit. Okay, so we got all those. Now we just need to make some spools. Oh, they make four each. Oh, well. Uh, that uh reduces the amount of I need, but whatever. I don't know why that went in there. But we'll just make a bunch because I know I need it for other things. Um okay, so put that in there for now. And the block takes a lot. Luckily I made more because I guess I needed them all. I thought I didn't. I needed eight instead of six like I thought. Okay, so we got our kinetic dynamo. I didn't think I'd be able to finish that, but luckily I had a lot of bronze in there. Um. Wow. Is there anything in here I can take out? I think I'm gonna get rid of the slimy bone for now. Or well. Um. We'll put the steel in there. I don't know what happened to my copper that I had in my hand. Oh, it's following me. There we go. Now with my sword. Okay. Oh, we did have extra. Okay, it was just the rest photo before. Okay, we got our kinetic dynamo. Now, this I'm not sure about at all. I'm guessing the big hole side is where we plug it in. So what we're going to do Just find our pickaxe. It seriously probably needs another and breaking mod on it. Maybe it's it it got way down there, but it's coming back up. We really need a better sh shovel type thing. Surprised I had dirt though. Okay, we're gonna pull out the shovel. If we even find it. Yeah, we'll get rid of some of this junk. Well, junk as in my very valuable items that I don't use very often. But uh, shovel, is it in here? No, of course not. Probably in the backup, backup, backpack. Or not. Hmm. Weird. Let's type this out. Filter? 
Wow, well, I put it down somewhere or accidentally destroyed it. I mean, it was just a crappy shovel with no modifiers or anything, but still. Huh. Weird. Probably one of those times where my inventory is absolutely full, so I just shoved it somewhere. Well, we'll take the garden trowel. Just because it's a shovel. And I'm sick of taking forever to mine dirt. So what we're going to try to do... Ooh, wow, there's surface over here. Oh, wow, the water's right there. That's bad. Ruins my plan a bit. I have to dig down. Um, because I was gonna make a little underground water wheel over here. Just as a proof of concept. I don't know if this generator will even make enough power to run my press. Okay, so let's go back over here and build stuff. See how we can possibly get the water wheel done. Water wheel. Now that's the one I have. The I need the immersive engineering one. Yeah. So it's just a bunch of treated stuff. We need the treated sticks, which I should have. This, yeah. So, water wheel. Hmm. I'm not sure why the treated wood was a separate thing on the thing. It just has the same abilities as wood. Uh, water wheel. Water wheel segment. I'm not sure why there's two recipes. Ah. So one is the parts and what is the thing okay so we need four of these oh man we need more treated wood luckily um we should have oh do i need a bucket we should have buckets Okay, unfortunately I only do have a backlog of four there. I don't know why that recipe doesn't turn up on its own. It shows up here. Whatever. Um, can we fix this? Whatever. Okay, I don't know why that did not work properly. Okay, now we got put that away. That away for now, I guess. Just so we have some room. Put the bucket. Why? 
did I not get that? My inventory is not full. That is so weird. I don't know. It's a glitch. Anyways, we should have this now. Water wheel. That out of there. Three of them. One more. Oh, sticks. Oops. Come on, we can do it. No, we don't want that in there. Okay, now we can make this around a stealing gun. We get a water wheel. How it attaches? I am not quite sure. I don't know if we use the other additions of shafts or poles or. Let's uh move this up one. You can find it. There we go. Not sure how big it is. I'm going to guess and say it's at least three high. Okay. Get some of these. Oops. Dirt. Dirt is good. I'm going to have to get rid of that. I hope that didn't mess up my water flow out there too much. I think that's just the crap above my base though. Not the actual important stuff. And of course my inventory is full again. Okay, back to seeing if we can finally place this. No. So, uh, the book. Um, power wise and generators. Power generation. You need to connect forces to windmills and water wheels. Connect these to a dynamo will generate power based on how fast they turn. Okay. The water wheel is a fairly easy way to empower dynamo. Its turning speed is based on the water flowing around it. So for optimum results, you'll want to direct the water in a semicircle from the top down to one side along the bottom. And up to three water wheels can be placed against each other. The windmill. Okay. Lots of things like weather and stuff affects windmill. You can have better things. Does not really go into details about how you set it up. Okay, so. Okay. 
Come on. Not sure how this gets set. How much space it needs. It's a really uh, annoying thing, actually. This is the same problem with the last water wheel. I don't know if I'm in the way. I'm gonna go outside. Maybe I can just plop it down somewhere. Maybe I need to have water nearby? Well, I can't seem to just plop it. And this is. Okay, so um probably should take the kinetic dynamo with me. Hindsight twenty twenty and all that. I guess maybe it has to be connected to the dynamo. You can't even place it. I thought I could just place it in the world and see where it went. Like size wise. I probably still want it down here. Okay, so we got the dynamo. If we have it outside, we run the risk of a creeper blowing it up accidentally. Although I could put these no blow up totems around it, I guess. So, um, yeah, this is a place. That's not a very good place to put it, I guess. Here we go. Nice, big, open, possibly obscured by water. As we learned with the last water wheel, it wouldn't be placed with water around it. How about here? It's a nice, empty spot. Oh, yeah, my first attempt at an aqueduct. I still don't know what those do. They don't seem to... Okay, it works. Yeah, you just need like six, seven high. Okay, so yeah. I'll work on that off camera and we'll come back to power. Um, I'm not sure if one water wheel is enough. We'll see how it works out. I'll probably make a bunch of treated wood off screen and then we'll see how it goes. So that's pretty cool. Um, we have some progress. We got a machine. We got a wheel. Let's we'll see how this goes. So catch you later, guys. Just the guy signing off. Bye.